Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some hot bread and uh, I'm going to fill it with bacon, olives, salami, I've got cheese, I've got ricotta. I'm going to show you something nice to have filled bread. Now, when my husband was alive, I've lost my husband eight years ago, but when he used to come on a Saturday morning, my son used to come and see him and uh, he'd love to have this hot bread. Now, I'll show you what I mean by it because this is what I'm going to make. I am going to show you how to make some lovely hot filled bread. It's lovely and lovely hot crusty bread with uh, the bacon and olives in it and cheese in it. And uh, this is what I'm going to show you how to make. I've, I've already made now one kilo of flour will make you two of those loaves and about eight bread rolls. Now, I've made my uh, bread dough because I wanted it to prove it itself and double in size, but I'm going to show you how I make my... I buy the pre-mixed bread flour. Then I'm going to... This is a kilo of bread flour in here, right? Now, to that, I'm going to... I add four teaspoons of dry yeast. Just nice level four teaspoons of dry yeast. And then we need 500 ml of warm water, 500 ml of warm water. And it just makes a lovely soft dough, not sticky or anything, but knead it for 10 minutes and then cover it up and let it double in size. Or else if you've got a food processor, put it through the dough hook and you can knead it that way. So I've already done mine. And so that's what, and a kilo of flour will give you two nice loaves and eight bread rolls. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to show you how to do it. Once that is proven, what I do is, now I've got three pieces, three pieces of bread dough here, out of that kilo of flour. Now I've already got one piece here, this is what I've done, put it on a piece of baking paper, spread it out, and we get two of these loaves and we get about eight bread rolls in the other piece that I have here. So what I'm going to do now, I put it on a baking paper so then I put it straight onto the tray, I don't have to handle it. What I've done here is I've had a piece, I divide my kilo of dough in threes. So that gives me two loaves and about the other piece I make about eight bread rolls. Now, what I've done here, I have spread out my dough, and it, look, it's about half an inch thick. We don't want, and that's just how one piece of dough will give you. That's what you do, just spread it on the baking paper like that. Now, to that, I'm gonna add all my, I've got my bacon, just put some bacon across there like that, bacon pieces, or what you can put ham pieces if you want to. You keep on filling it up. I've got salami here. But you can have pepperoni if you want the hot one, but my kids don't like the hot one, so I've got the salami. I don't think you're putting too much because this all goes down after. And put, keep on doing that, that's all you do. And I've got here some ricotta. Uh, you do what you want, but this is the lovely, this is what I'm doing now, some ricotta. Spread it there like that. Now I've also got some nice dried tomato strips. So just put them along there, just gives it a bit of flavour. Just keep on doing that. As I said, just add whatever you want to it. This is my version of, it's really nice, my olives. Some pitted calamari olives. Just put them there like that, as much as you want. All you do is just spread all this ingredients on that piece of bread. Now, we've got some cheese. I'm going to put some cheese pieces on there. And then we'll put some of that uh, mozzarella shredded cheese on top of that also. Don't think it's too much because this just goes down after. Uh, so you think, oh, you know, it looks a lot, but it isn't. It'll just go down. What I'm going to do is put another little bit of bacon on the top of that. And you can fill it up as much as you want to. It really is nice. The thing about this, you can... Have it the day the next day. You can wrap it up in elf foil. You can heat it up. I've even frozen a loaf of this. Uh, you thaw it out. You wrap it up in elf foil, and you can heat it up in the oven. I make I make about four or five of these because I give one inch to the kids 
and uh, so it, it, to me it, they never waste. So bread rolls, some more salami, just keep on doing, filling it up as much as you want to. Now on that I'll just put a bit more of this, more olives, a bit more ricotta. You can add whatever you want to this. My husband used to like the anchovies but the kids don't like the anchovies so and it was a treat. This was a treat on a Saturday morning. My son used to come over uh, and sit with him and they'd have this lovely hot bread. Uh, your kitchen smells nice when you've got some nice hot bread. Now what I do to this, I just sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit across there like that. It just seems to give it a little bit of flavour. Now all you do is just turn that up and cover it up. and press it down, just press all your sides down, that makes a beautiful loaf of my filled bread. As I said you can put anything in there you want but I like the bacon, the olives, the salami, the cheese, uh, if you want some hot salami, you can put the pepperoni one in. I've got, I haven't got the hot one because the kids. Now what I do with that is I sprinkle some flour on top of that. I just sprinkle some flour on top of that. And then I'm going to, where's my knife? I'm going to cut one, two, three, four. Just across there like that. Now what I do is, you've got it on the baking paper, so what you do is just bring it onto the tray, like that. Now let that sit for about 10 minutes covered up because it'll just sort of uh, prove itself a little bit more. And then, now you've got to have a hot oven for this. I've already heated it up, my oven for, I put it onto 250 and then I bring it down to about 240, but you've got to have a nice hot oven and it'll just come, and it take about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Uh, when it's lovely and brown, that'll be fine. It doesn't take long at all. So that's ready to go in the oven. So what I said to you before is I've shown you what I've done. Now, look, you've got, with a kilo of flour, you've got these beautiful bread rolls so lovely and yummy and then I've got two of these loaves I've made one and I've made two so that that's a kilo of flour there you go now what what I showed you before was I cut that like that across there like that and it is absolutely beautiful. You see, you think you've got a lot of filling in it, but you really haven't. That's, that's how it is. It's got that lovely olives and cheese ricotta filling in it. And, and, and that is absolutely beautiful. My husband used to love this. And my son used to look forward to coming on a Saturday morning and sit down and having this lovely hot bread with a cup of coffee or a glass of wine. and. Uh, it is something that you can smell your kitchen with this lovely hot bread. Please give it a go. It's no problem. Uh, you can do your dough beforehand and then have all your uh, ingredients ready and uh, and just fill it up. You see, you it, it does go down. You think you've got a lot, but it doesn't. And it absorbs it all in the bread. It's lovely crusty bread. Uh, so I hope you will enjoy it and have it a go because my kids have enjoyed this. now. Now they'll come over for brunch and we'll sit down and that's all they want is this bread rolls. They can have the bread rolls, they can put a bit of cheese in it, a bit of ham in it and the bread. So that kilo of flour will give you two beautiful loaves of filled bread with about eight bread rolls. So what more can you ask? And just have all this beautiful ingredients to go with it and enjoy it. So. I've, I've done this through the years and my kids have all enjoyed it so give it a go and I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.